Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. Um, are we expecting somebody else for Christmas? No? Well, there's a hooded figure right outside. The family and Krampus went through a similar thing like this. Make sure that the gingerbread cookies don't attack, and let's review Krampus. Ripped out of Christmas wrapping paper in 2015, Krampus is a Christmas horror film about a hooded figure stalking a family. Trying to enjoy their holiday season in all their dysfunctional family glory, the members of the Engel family disappear one by one. Upon asking for Christmas movie recommendations, the synopsis for Krampus intrigued me. Being the horror fan that I am, I put Krampus on my list. This film is very relatable for families, especially when getting together for the holidays. In my opinion, Krampus tried too hard to be a horror film. The entire cast of Krampus did a great job connecting to their characters and as a family. Whether they were a mother who was so done with everything, the critical aunt, or a son who just wishes to have a good holiday, each character had layers. A couple of my favorites include the late Conchata Farrell, who did not care what she said in front of the children, and Tony Collette, who I've become a big fan of over time, had the best reactions. I was surprised at how much character depth there was. Krampus gave small endearing family moments attention. The chaotic family dinner scene was the best. At first, I thought it was going to be one of those cliché films where the family doesn't get along and this evil figure tortures them. It turns out, to some level, that it took a different approach. The writers did an excellent job with the horror aspect, creating suspense. But when it shifts into horror, filmmakers went a little over the top. Too much screen time was given to the killer toys. The story becomes so over the top that it's even expressed in the film. That's not to say that the designs for monster creatures aren't fun. Designs are made entirely for practical effects instead of incorporating CGI. The deranged gingerbread cookies were my favorite. The narration where the grandmother explains the backstory of Krampus is a signature scene. Using puppetry made it stand out. Michael Doherty also directed the horror fan favorite, Trick or Treat. Elements of that film felt too similar to Krampus. Family drama is the main idea of Krampus until it decided to add this horror scenario. Krampus still manages to be original, but it needed a different tone. That is not to say that Krampus is a bad film. It's actually very funny. Doherty scored on the family drama that we can all relate to. And he did a good job mixing comedy and horror. Some parts of the story didn't make sense with the horror layer. Although, I do like the idea of a film that leaves you with theories. It could have been a more concise ending. Since 2020, the holiday seasons have been different. Due to the pandemic, some families haven't been able to get together. Depending on how you feel about that, family is family. You can't change that. If you still can't get together this year, remember to give family members who you won't see a call to let them know that you're thinking of them. Be aware that Krampus is a Christmas horror film. There are some scenes that could scare audiences. Otherwise, it'll make you laugh. If you have seen Krampus, what did you think of it the first time? For next time, we're going to take a look at another Christmas horror film. Be aware of... The Lodge. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle, and this has been another one of my movie reviews.